At Kampala's Makere University, a food revolution is underway. From sausages made from soya to protein-rich tofu, students like Martin are churning out what they hope will be the next generation of Ugandan food. And his cutting-edge creations are already on the shelves of 10 supermarkets in town. We go to a supermarket, set up our stand, and we give out samples, we fry the sausages, we fry the tofu, and we get people excited and energized about the product. His research was subsidized by the government, who are keen to make the country's agriculture sector more profitable. Clever use of ingredients and preparation techniques can increase shelf life and cut waste from raw materials such as fruit, vegetables and dairy products. Currently, around 30% of Uganda's harvest is lost because of the time it takes to get to market. Actually, during season peaks, farmers do not get enough funds. They end up selling their produce at giveaway prices. So the, pro the, 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 the government decided to come up with this project to add value and to reduce the post-harvest losses of this, of this produce. Since its launch in 2010, the food lab has trained 500 technicians. Martin now needs investment to break out of the confines of the university and start producing on a much larger scale. The good news is that we already have people knocking on our doors and we're already in, in, in negotiations with some people who are very interested in some of our work to, commercial, to further commercialize it here locally in Uganda and to take it to other countries. While these new foods are more expensive than traditional alternatives with a range of skills like tomato processing, yogurt production and juice preservation, the next generation of food producers are hopeful that the impact of Uganda's food revolution will be a positive one for both farmers and consumers.